O banal na kung saan kami ay nakikisalo kay Kristo, ang kanyang mga paghihirap ay ginugunita, ang aming isipan ay napupuno ng kanyang grasya, at tinatanggap namin ang pangako ng kaluwalhatian. Hinandugan mo sila ng tinapay na nagmula sa kalangitan bilang kanilang pagkain. At ang tinapay na ito ay nagtataglay ng kabutihang lubos. Manalangin tayo. O Diyos, nagbigay ka sa amin ang alaala ng iyong paghihirap sa kahangahangang sakramentong ito. Loobin mo sa pamimintuho sa mga katotohanan ng iyong katawan at tugo. Ay madama namin ang bunga ng iyong pagtubos. Nabubuhay ka at nagaharing kasama ng Ama at ng Espiritu Santo. Magpa sa walang hanggan. Amen. God come to my assistance. Lord make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. When in His own image God created man, He included freedom in creation's plan. For He loved us even from before our birth. By His grace He made us free men all these earth. God to man entrusted Life has given aim. Sin became our prison, turning home to shame. Man against his brother, lifted hand and sword. And the father speeding when seen unheard. Then in time our Maker chose to intervene, set His love in person in the human scene. Jesus brought the circle of repeated sin, so that man's devotion newly might be. We now in freedom where we should belong. Let us turn to Jesus, let our choice be strong. May the great obedience which in Christ we see perfect for our service that we shall be. I am one out with crying, with longing for my God. Save me, O God, for the waters have risen to my neck. I have sung into the mud of the deep, and there is no foothold. I have entered the waters of the deep, and the waves overwhelm me. I am weary with all my crying, my throat is parched. My eyes are wasted away from looking for my God. More numerous than the hairs on my head are those who hate me without cause. Those who attack me with lies are too much for my strength. How can I restore what I have never stolen? O oh God, you know my sinful folly, my sins you can see. Let those who hope in you not be put to shame. 
through me, Lord of hosts. Let not those who seek you be dismayed. Through me, God of Israel. It is for you that I suffer taunts, that shame covers my face, that I have become a stranger to my brothers, an alien to my own mother's sons. I burn with zeal for your house, and taunts against you fall on me. When I afflict my soul with fasting, they make it a taunt against me. When I put on sackcloth in mourning, then they make me a byword, the gossip of men at the gates, the subject of drunkard songs. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I needed food and they gave me gall. I was parched with thirst and they gave me vinegar. This is my prayer to you, my prayer for your favor. In your great love answer me, O God, with your help that never fails. Rescue me from sinking in the mud. Save me from my foes. Save me from the waters of the deep. Lest the waves overwhelm me, do not let the deep engulf me, nor death close its mouth on me. Lord, answer, for your love is kind. In your compassion, turn towards me. Do not hide your face from your servant. Answer quickly, for I am in distress. Come close to my soul and redeem me. Ransom me, pressed by my foes. You know how they taunt and deride me. My oppressors are all before you. Taunts have broken my heart. I have reached the end of my strength. I looked in vain for compassion. For consolers, not one could I find. For food they gave me poison. In my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Seek the Lord, and you will live. As for me in my poverty and pain, let your help, O God, lift me up. I will praise God's name with a song. I will glorify him with thanksgiving. A gift pleasing God more than oxen, more than beasts prepared for holocaust. The poor, when they see it, will be glad, and God's seeking hearts will revive. For the Lord listens to the needy, and does not spurn his servants in their chains. Let the heavens and the earth give him praise, the sea and all its living creatures. For God will bring help to Zion, and rebuild the cities of Judah, and men shall dwell there in possession. The sons of his servants shall inherit it. Those who love his name shall dwell there. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord will teach us His ways and we will follow in his footsteps. From the book of the prophet Micah. Hear then what the Lord says. Arise. Present your plea before the mountains, and let the hills hear your voice. 
Hear, O mountains, the plea of the Lord. Pay attention, O foundations of the earth. For the Lord has a plea against his people, and he enters into trial with Israel. O my people, what have I done to you? Or how have I wearied you? Answer me. For I brought you up from the land of Egypt, from the place of slavery, I released you. And I sent before you Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. My people, remember what Moab's king Balak planned and how Balaam, the son of Bor, answered him. From Shittim to Gilgal, that you may know the just deeds of the Lord. With what shall I come before the Lord and bow before God most high? Shall I come before him with holocaust, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with myriads of streams of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my crime, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? You have been told, O man, what is good and what the Lord requires of you, only to do the right and to love goodness, and to walk humbly with your God. Hark, the Lord cries to the city, It is wisdom to fear your name. Hear, O tribe and city council, you whose rich men are full of violence, whose inhabitants speak falsehood with deceitful tongues in their heads. Am I to bear any longer criminal hoarding and the meager effa that is accursed? Shall I acquit criminal balances, bags of false weights? Rather, I will begin to strike you with devastation because of your sins. You shall sow, yet not reap, tread out the olive, yet pour no oil, and the grapes, yet drink no wine. You shall eat without being satisfied, food that will leave you empty. What you acquire, you cannot save. What you do save, I will deliver up to the sword. The Lord has told you, O man, what is good. And this is what he expects of you to do what is right, to love goodness, and to walk humbly with your God. Trust in the Lord and do good, and you shall possess the land. And this is what he expects of you, to do what is right, to love goodness, and to walk humbly with your God. From a sermon on baptism, by Saint Passion, Bishop. The sin of Adam had come into all men. Through one man, the Apostle says, sin entered, and through sin, death. Thus it has come to all men. Therefore, the justice of Christ must enter into men. And as the old Adam ruined his descendants through sin, so Christ must bring new life to all men through justice. The Apostle stresses this theme when he says, As through the disobedience of one man, many were made sinners, so too through the obedience of one man, many were made just. And as sin brought death to the offender, so grace through justice brings birth to eternal life. Someone may say to me, but the sin of Adam is justifiably transmitted to his posterity since they were descended from him. And since we are not descended from Christ, how can we be saved because of him? Do not think in physical terms about descent. 
then you will see how Christ is our Father. In these times of salvation, Christ received body and soul from Mary. He came to save this soul, not to leave it in hell. He united it with His Spirit and made it His own. And this is the marriage of the Lord, the union of two in one flesh, so that according to that great mystery, two become one flesh, Christ and His Church. From this marriage, the Christian people are born by the descent of the Spirit of the Lord. The essential nature of the soul, engendered by heavenly seed, grows in the womb of our mother, the Church, and at birth is given life by Christ. Therefore, the Apostle says, the first Adam was a living soul, the new Adam a life-giving spirit. Thus, Christ continues in the Church through His priests. As the same Apostle says, in Christ I have begotten you. And so the seed of Christ, that is, the Spirit of God, brings forth the new man, nourished in the womb of his mother, welcomed at his birth at the font through the hands of the priests, while faith presides over the ceremony. Christ must therefore be received in order to beget. For the Apostle John says, So all who received him, he gave the power to become sons of God. But these things cannot be accomplished except by the sacrament of the font, the chrism, and the priest. For sin is washed away by the waters of the font. The Holy Spirit is poured forth in the chrism, and we obtain both of these gifts through the hands and the mouth of the priest. Thus the whole man is reborn and renewed in Christ. Just as Christ rose from the dead, so we shall walk in the newness of life. That is, we put away the errors of our old lives, and we follow the new way through the Spirit in Christ. As by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners, so by one man's obedience, many will be made righteous. As sin reigned through death, so Christ will reign to bring us eternal life through Jesus Christ. God sent His only Son as an offering for our sins. As sin reigned through death, so grace will reign to bring us eternal life through Jesus Christ.
Great is the Lord our God, transcending all other gods. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise him, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to his name, for he is loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, and Israel for his own possession. For I know the Lord is great, that our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does not does whatever he wills, in heaven, on earth, in the seas. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightning produce the rain. From his treasuries he sends forth the wind. The firstborn of the Egyptians he smote, of man and beast alike. Signs and wonders he worked in the midst of your land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. Nations in their greatness he struck, and kings in their splendor he slew. Sihon, king of the Amorites, Og the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He let Israel inherit their land. On his people their land he bestowed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. House of Israel, bless the Lord. Sing psalms to him, for he is merciful. Lord, your name stands forever, unforgotten from age to age. For the Lord does justice for his people. The Lord takes pity on his servants. Pagan idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. They have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. There is never a breath on their lips. Their makers will come to be like them, and so will all who trust in them. Sons of Israel, bless the Lord. Sons of Aaron, bless the Lord. Sons of Levi, bless the Lord. You fear him, bless the Lord. From Zion may the Lord be blessed, he who dwells in Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All nations will come and worship before you, O Lord. Mighty and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Righteous and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who would dare refuse you honor or the glory to your name, O Lord? Since you alone are holy, all nations shall come and worship in your presence. Your mighty deeds are clearly seen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. My brothers, Count it pure joy when you are involved in every sort of trial. Realize that when your faith is tested, this makes for endurance. Let endurance come to its perfection so that you may be fully mature and lacking in nothing.
Christ loved us and washed away our sins in his own blood. Christ loved us and washed away our sins in his own blood. He made us a nation of kings and priests in his own blood. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Christ loved us and washed away our sins in his own blood. The Lord has come to the help of his servants, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is His name. He has mercy on the severe in every generation. He has shown the strength of His arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has come to the help of His servants, for He has promised, remembered His promise of mercy. Because of our sins, the Father gave the Lord Jesus up to death. And for our justification, he raised him up again. Let us pray. Have mercy on your people, Lord. Hear our prayer and spare us as we confess our sins. Grant us forgiveness and peace, we pray. Have mercy on your people, Lord. Your apostles said, where sin abounds, grace abounds all the more. Forgive us our transgressions, we pray. Have mercy on your people, Lord. Lord, we have sinned, yet we have also acknowledged your infinite mercy. Bring us to conversion, we pray. Have mercy on your people, Lord. Save your people from their sins, Lord. Make them pleasing to you, we pray. Have mercy on your people, Lord. For our Pope, College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, especially for justice, peace, and the development of our countries, and all those whom we have promised to pray for. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the safety and well-being of our healthcare providers and frontliners, the recovery of the sick, and the eternal repose of the souls of those who have died. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. You opened paradise to the thief who believed in you. Do not close the gates of heaven to the faithful departed. We pray. Have mercy on your people, Lord. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, in your loving plan, Christ your Son became the prize of our salvation. May we be united with him in his suffering, so that we may experience the power of his resurrection in the kingdom where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit 
one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sa iyong kandungan, aking natikman ang unang pagmamahal. Kahit musmus pa, Pagpapatin mong purihin ka namin o kabanal-banalang birhen. Bigyan mo kami ng lakas laban sa iyong mga kaaway. Manalangin tayo. O Panginoon, sinasamo namin kaming mga lingkod mo ay magtamasa ng kalusugan ng kaluluwa at katawan. Sabisa na panalangin ng mahal na birhing Maria, ipagadya mo kami sa mga ligalig ng buhay na ito at pagkaluuban kami ng kaligayahan sa langit. Sa pahamagitan ni Kristong aming Panginoon. Amen. Amang Santo Domingo na kabanal-banalan, ilaw ka sa sanday digan, ipinagdiriwang. Iyong kadakilaan halimbawa ng buhay Sugo ka ng poong Diyos, gabay na mitrang law Puso mong malinis tulad sa kristal Sa kalwalhatian ng langit kinintal Amang Santo Domingo na kabanal-banalan Ilaw ka sa sandaigdigan, ipinagdiriwang Iyong kadakilaan, halimbawa ng buhay Sugo ka ng poong Diyos, gabay na mitang law Ipanalangin mo kami, O Amang Santo Domingo, upang maging karapat dapat kami sa mga pangako ni Kristo. Manalangin tayo. O Panginoon, naway lumakas ang iyong Santa Iglesia sa mga gawang kabanalan at aral ni Santo Domingo. Yayamang siya ay naging nakilang tagapangaral na iyong katotohanan habang nabubuhay sa lupa. Kami sana ipanalangin niya ngayon sa pahamagitan ni Kristong Panginoon namin. Amen. Sa gitna ng paghihirap, tinawag ko'y Panginoon. Kaya Panginoon ako'y dinggin pagkat ako'y tumataghoy. 
Dinggin mo ang pagtawag ko at paghingi ng tulong. Kung ikaw ay may talaan itong aming kasalanan, lahat kami ay tatanggap ng hatol mong nakalaan. Ngunit iyong panyatawad, kasalanan ay nilimot. Pinatawad mo nga kami upang sa iyo ay matakot. Sabi ka kong naghihintay sa tulong mo, Panginoon, pagkat ako'y may tiwala sa pangako mong pagtulong. Yaring aking pananabik, Panginoon, ay higit pa sa serenong naghihintay sa pagsapit ng umaga. Magtiwala ka, Israel. Magtiwala sa iyong Diyos. Matatag at hindi kukupas ang pag-ibig niyang dulot. Lagi siyang naghahandang sa sino man ay tutubos. Ililigtas ang Israel yaong kanyang hirang. Ililigtas niya sa kanilang kasalanan. Kapayapaan kailanman ang igawad ng may kapal sa yumaong ating mahal. Sila nawa ay silaya ng ilaw na walang hanggan. Manalangin tayo. Ama naming makapangyarihan, ginawa mong bumagta sa kalangitan ang iyong anak na nanaog sa kamatayan. Ipagkaloob mo sa kanila na nanaog sa pagkamatay ang kapalarang makaharap sa iyong kadakilaan bilang lumikha at manunubos kailanman. Sa pahumagitan ni Heso Kristo kasama ng Espiritu Santo, magpasawalang hanggan. Amen.